I have battle tested every weapon type in Dead Island 2 and I have ranked them for you so you don't have to. I will be putting them in categories from trash, bad, okay, good, great, and insane. This video is and will be 1000% accurate and if you do not agree with any of these rankings, you should not let me know down below. We will be going in order from trash to insane. We will be ranking the legendary and unique weapons as well, but they will be at the end in their own separate ranking system. So make sure you stick around towards the end because we're going to have a ranking just for legendary and unique. Just remember, this game is rated M for mature, so if you are not comfortable or you are not old enough for a mature game, you should definitely not watch this video because these clips are pulled directly from the game, so they can be a bit violent, a bit brutal, and a bit gory. Let's get into it. All right, starting in the first trash category, none of these should be majorly surprising. There's one in here that may surprise some people, but most of these are pretty basic. They're not that fun, and they're really only used at the very beginning of the game. So let's run through those. One, burnt timber. You find it randomly, can't really do anything with it, and it's pretty much garbage. <laughs> the next is the club. So it may be a surprise to some people. I'm not a big fan of the club. Uh, similar to the wooden baseball bat, but I just don't like the club as much. Um, so I don't, I think it's kind of trash. Uh, pole cue. These are all, everything in this category feels something you would grab on during an apocalypse, like something you'd be looking for some of these. So I get it. They got to be in there. So pull cue for me, also trash. Scaffold pull. I've been around scaffolding. Throwing around a scaffold pull wouldn't be that great. It's kind of a, I guess it'd be kind of like a, um, you know, like a staff or a long stick or anything like that. But yeah, not a fan of the scaffold pull. Uh, shovel. It's okay. Breaks pretty easily. Um, Used it pretty often in the very beginning of the game because it was actually pretty handy. Gave me some, uh, you know, some some leverage, some reach, uh, but, you know, pretty much trash overall. Next one may surprise some people. The shuriken. Shuriken. Not sure how to say it. It's the kind of throwing stars. Um, yeah, I don't like them. They throw three, but they have a pretty large spread. And so usually only one, the middle one, actually <laughs> hits anything. Uh, they don't do a whole lot of damage. They don't really, they, they, they stop the, you know, the zombie coming at you slightly, uh, but not very much. Uh, yeah, I just think they're a total waste of time. I think I used them once just to get the video clip. Other than that, they're hot trash to me. Steel pipe, basic. You get it very early on. It's great. It makes a really good good sound, but overall it's pretty much trash. And then the steel rebar, kind of the same thing. It's pretty decent in the sense of uh, being able to absolutely beat somebody over the head with it. Um, but at the end of the day, all of these are pretty much trash. Moving on to the bad category. There'll be some real dingers in here that people are going to be probably upset about. Starting with number one, the bow staff. <laughs> I can't stand the bow staff. Uh, the finishing move is okay. It's just like, you know, a lot of the, the, the long reach weapons. But to me, every time I hit somebody with it, it's like I'm hitting them with a popsicle stick. I have no time for the bow staff. Even with it upgraded, I thought it was very, very weak and I didn't like it. Uh, the claymore. So, you know, there is a legendary version of the claymore. We'll get into that in the legendary video. But the overall claymore, I mean, if you went around and do a little brave hearting, uh, that's cool. But beyond that, it's just... <laughs> in an apocalypse, I don't think it's anything you'd actually be wielding around because the thing probably weighs like 80 pounds. So I'm uh, not a big fan of it in the game. It's great, you know, really huge hits, big swings, but not a fan. The cleaver. I don't know. It seems like a perfect weapon. I just can't get into it. I don't understand why I'm not a big fan of the cleaver. Crescent blades. No. Super jazzy. They look like they'd be super awesome. Uh, I don't like things that don't have a little bit of reach and... Um, there's a couple items in here that people, you know, you got to get up close and personal. I'm not a fan of the Crescent Blades. Uh, they're still under the bat. Electric Stars. They're a little bit better than the Shuriken. They have a little bit of electricity power, which helps a little bit to stun the zombies or, you know, electri electrocute them, but not really a fan. Flashbang. <laughs> what, are we, <laughs> what are we doing throwing flashbangs? Stupid. Golf Club. I'm not into golf. Sorry. Doesn't work for me. I'm not going to run around with a driver. I probably wouldn't even have one in an apocalypse. The, the cuckery? No, that's not what it is. Did I spell it wrong? Yes. Yeah, 
K-U-K-R-I. Kukri? Kukri? Not sure how to pronounce it. Not a big fan of this either. Kind of like a curved, curved blade. Mm, I could do without. Some of the other blades are better. Uh, the makeshift sword. Feel like it would fall apart pretty quickly because it's, you know, kind of pieces. I get it. You do what you can. I think it's a lawnmower blade, which is pretty awesome because I love mowing, but uh, it's, it's in a bad category for me. Nail bomb. Can't stand it. Can't stand the nail bomb. Used it once or twice, and, you know, it's good for shrapnel, but the zombies are already kind of tore apart. So <laughs> it doesn't really have a good effect. Nightstick. Nope. Not going to work for me. Even even it jazzed up. Um, I don't, it doesn't... It sounds, once again, sounds cool, but to me, it's it's in the bad court category. I don't like it at all. Officer sword, a little too flashy. You know, might have people running around trying to be pirates during the apocalypse, but I'm not going to be one of those people. The pole saw, it's kind of stabby. <laughs> you know, there's not like a big, like, I don't know. It's very stabby for like a long reach uh, weapon, and I'm not really a fan. Uh, the sign pole, you think it would have been in trash, but actually... It smacks, so I put it in the bad category, one category ahead. Obviously, it's basic, but you can whip that thing around and uh, and get some big big hits and wide hits as well. And then the sticky bomb. It's okay, but if like you miss your target or it doesn't stick on the target or it hits the ground, like obviously it stays there, which makes it sticky. And I had many instances where it hit things that I didn't want to, and it's like stuck to a side of a bus. <laughs> I'm like, oh crap. So I just got in more bad situations than good with the sticky bomb, which is why it's it's in my bad category. Okay, we are moving on to okay. This is my longest list of weapons inside of this entire scale. So let's get right into it. Number one in the okay category is the acid pool. So there is a part of the game that you're at the hotel and there's a giant acid pool and I used it to kill a lot of zombies. It was fun. It was okay. It was only okay because I think it's the only acid pool I ran into. So <laughs> obviously there's acid and stuff like that throughout the uh, throughout the rest of the game, but I really enjoyed drop kicking zombies into the pool. Uh, baseball bat, kind of like the club, just a little bit better than the club because the actual like uh, perks you can get with the electricity or the fire. No, maybe it's not electricity. I think it's the acid or the fire. Uh, make it semi decent. Throwing a battery. I put it in the okay category because there's tons of them and sometimes you need to pull them to stop the car's alarms from going off and then you can use them and throw them and you can you only need water you can just throw them at the zombie and they work as well so really cool there and they're in the okay bowie knife not, you know once again up close and personal not a huge fan of allowing them, them to get that close to me but it's an okay i'm okay with a bowie knife our caustic bomb this is okay as well it's not as good as some of the other throwables um, or other curve balls, but it's okay. Claw hammer. Once again, it's kind of a go-to in the apocalypse. You think that, you know, the backside of the claw of the hammer will work really well. It has pretty decent upgrades as well, but yeah, it's okay. Crowbar. I did a lot of damage with the crowbar early on in the game. I enjoyed it. Um, and if you're thinking about real life as well, in a real life, in an apocalypse, a crowbar might be something you want to carry around because you can also use it to get into places. Engineering hammer. They look really cool. They look like they'd absolutely do damage. They do. They're pretty neat. They're okay. Hunting knife, kind of same with bowie knife. The hunting knife comes with a really, it looks really amazing with the uh, the fire upgrades um, and uh, on it. And I really enjoyed seeing that. And I did some serious work and it was actually good for tight places because uh, the agility and the quickness you can upgrade it with, with some of the perks, uh, works really well. Katana. There's other longer blades that are better than for me than the katana, so that's why it's in the okay category. Machete, kind of same thing. You know, makeshift, sh makeshift sword and the machete, very similar. Machete's a bit better, uh, but mm, it's all right. Matic, rather have a sledgehammer, honestly, than, than the Matic for me. Uh, meat bait, okay. You can use it, you know, to lure them into fire, into acid bass. Um, but overall, there's a better one coming down the list than the meat bait. Where am I? Meat mallet. Same thing. Kind of like the engineering hammer. It's just this big, blocky, you know, you can add a lot of cool stuff to it. Hits pretty hard. Um, it's obviously doesn't have as much reach as something like a sledgehammer, but has a little bit more reach than a knife. So it's kind of the in-between. Um, I could see with the, the quicker characters, they, these would be pretty good. I chose Ryan, the fire firefighter <laughs> so uh i liked some of the longer heavier weapons uh with his character style 
Military knife, same thing as the Bowie knife, right? Very similar. It's in the okay category for me. Uh, pickaxe, very much like the Matic. Um, it's okay. The finishing moves from the Matic and the pickaxe are pretty amazing. Uh, obviously with the spikes on the ends of them. So yeah, it was decent. Pistol. Good, but some of the other weapons are better. And then some of the legendary weapons on outside of the pistols also very, very good. So I didn't spend a whole lot of time with the pistol, but uh, it was pretty accurate and, you know, shot well. Pitchfork. Actually better than I thought it would be. The reach is great. The finishing move is great. Um, and you can do all kinds of crazy upgrades to it. So I enjoyed the pitchfork and it was okay. Rake. I put rake in the okay category because I had the one of the best clips in the game where I absolutely launched a zombie up into the air, which I'll show you. And I was like, what the heck is this? So metal rakes do work. So they're in the okay category. Regular revolvers as well, kind of the same as pistol. This might be a little bit better because it has uh, obviously more ammunition uh, per clip, but yeah, revolvers were decent. Two-handed ax, cool. You would expect to carry that around. It makes sense. There's still better weapons in my eyes uh, later down the road. The Wakizashi. Help me pronounce these ones that I'm struggling with, please, in the comments down below. The Wakizashi. Decent. I have other ones on this list that I think are better in the blade category. You know, lots of blades in, in the okay category. Katana, this one, but uh, there's ones that are that are better. Zombie Axe and Zombie Sword. I put these both in the okay. They look amazing. They look amazing upgraded. And they're good. They're decent. They're not good. I mean, they're okay. <laughs> no, they're in the okay category for me. Uh, you think they would be insane because they're made for this exact genre, but eh, I put them in okay. Next, we're moving on to good. Good. Assault shotgun. When I got one from the Venice Beach police station, it was awesome. I felt like I was in Jurassic Park. We were doing work. So the assault shotgun is good. The claws. This was one of the uh, close, up close and personal weapons that I, I really enjoyed. Uh, electrifying the claws was really great. Um, I spent a lot of time. The finishing move, obviously, with the claw is incredible through the face, face off. Um, so really enjoyed the claws. Uh, fire axe. Fire axe looked incredible. Um, upgraded, so I was a big fan of this. The grenade on the curveball. Love this because it exploded on impact, so you knew exactly what you were getting from it. Uh, there was not a timer. Some of the timer ones I struggled with because normally I'd be throwing it at the ground and trying to time them moving towards me. Uh, I did enjoy the, the grenade exploding on impact. The improvised hammer was really was good. It was better than, to me, the claw hammer. Uh, it looks pretty crazy, too. It's like almost like a valve at the end of a, you know, at the end of a metal shaft. So really enjoyed that. And some of the perks and upgrades for that are really good. Uh, metal bat, better to me than the than the baseball bat or the club, because you can electrify and you can fire with the metal bat. Molotov cocktail, loved it for AOE, area of effect. You can control the crowd. You can control a hallway or a doorway or something like that with the Molotov. So I thought it was really good. Pipe bomb, also loved this. Timing on this was a little difficult at times, but it had a pretty good spread and a pretty good damage. Uh, pipe wrench, surprisingly great. I <laughs> really liked it, and it looks insane with the upgrade. Uh, the regular rifle. Didn't think I would enjoy the rifles as much in this game, but sometimes you do have long lanes uh, that you can see down, and the rifles were usually pretty powerful, so they were good for taking out like the uh, the burpers and the the you know the burpers that like launch either spit or acid at or fire or acid at you. They were good from killing from long range. Tire iron, better than I thought. It was in the good category. Wasn't expecting to put it there. But when you upgrade it, you can absolutely do hella damage uh, with the tire iron. So that's my good category. Moving on to great. So this is a reasonable list. Great, number one, bait bomb. So the meat, what, what was it called? Meat bait? What the heck was the first one called? Let me find it. Yes, meat bait, okay. Bait bomb, even better. So it's pretty much the meat bait, but has a like a timer, time bomb on it. Um, so you throw it, it, they all go towards it, you get a huge crowd and you usually get a pretty awesome boom because uh, they're all crowded around it. So really enjoyed the bait bomb. Used it actually a lot once I unlocked it in the curveballs. Brass knuckles. My top up close and personal. Love the brass knuckles. 
it's so satisfying just beating the crap out of something, especially if you have upgraded brass knuckles and they have either acid or fire or whatever you have upgraded on them. There's nothing better than just throwing hands at these zombies with brass knuckles on. It's really great. Chemical bomb. I like this for onrushing zombies, the runners, anything that you had to get some distance. It stops them, confuses them, allows you to get some space, kind of reassess your situation. So I used the chem bomb quite a bit throughout the game. Really enjoyed it. Composite sledgehammer. I chose Ryan for a reason. Love the sledgehammers. Love large swings. Love clearing out tons of zombies coming at me. Big swings hitting three, four zombies at the same time. Composite, composite sledgehammer. Huge fan. And they're also lighter weight. The composite, so I liked it. Uh, grenade vests. <laughs> the, the zombies running around with grenade vest really enjoyed hitting them, watching their smoke come out of their vest, getting distance, and then using them kind of as a curveball in itself, or a mine, or a you know a bomb in itself. So I used that quite a bit. Heavy wrench, much like the pipe wrench, the heavy wrench is amazing. Than I thought it would be. Um, heights, just launching zombies off of rooftops to a pool down below or to electrify pool down below or just to the ground really fun really great the the jump kicks drop kicks whatever you want to call them were, were amazing the pike so i thought the fork what what, what was it called Let me make sure i get this right pitchfork i thought the pitchfork was it was in the okay category the pike is great it's tons of range super powerful good damage stays pretty decent durability and you can add all kinds of crazy stuff too i really enjoyed using the pike a lot um sporting rifle pretty much an assault rifle with a scope loved it uh loved having a scope even though you, you know you don't use it a whole lot but just popping heads looking down sights is really really great so enjoyed the sporting rifle so one of the best blades in the game is the whispering blade uh, amazing so you have all those machetes and you have the makeshift swords and you have all the other stuff. To me, the Whispering Blade is so much better, has better reach um, and it has similar damage to the other ones. And I, I really like it. Moving on to the final category, the insane. These are the weapons you should be using all the time because I'm 1000% accurate on this video. Let's go. Electric Bomb. I use this almost the entire game because of the area effect, especially around water. You can string together multiple zombies to stop them in their tracks and you can make moves, either run away, go in and clean house, whatever you want to do. It allows you so much time to figure out what you need to do in your next steps and you can affect such a large group at the same time. Really liked it. Next, Fury Mode. <laughs> so this was an added bonus, something new to the series. Really enjoyed it, really enjoyed the upgrades from it. I liked how the autophage, autophage, whatever they called it, um, allowed you to you know, do you want to go over the line, become more zombie than human or stay more human than zombie? So it was really kind of cool to see how that dynamic played in, but uh, I used that a lot. Love slamming the ground. I didn't do the scream too much. I tried the acid, you know, puke, spit a little bit. Didn't really like that either, but I like the slam. I like the electrify and then just go on house. I pretty much used it as a, when I was in critical health, I'd hit that and then just go crazy and go to town and let my health bar uh, stream back up and get into fury mode. So love fury mode. The next is the mace. The mace is great. It hits hard. Um, it's got reasonable reach. Obviously it's in that mid tier, but you can add, I had an electrified one and it was amazing. I used it a ton. Love the mace. Next one, machine pistol. Probably. It's between this one and the next one, but maybe one or two of my favorite weapons in the game. It's a, uh, it's close. I used electrify on my machine pistol and for going against the spitters and the fire version of them, I forget exactly what they're called. It does absolute work. You can drop them in, you know, a full clip and it just explodes bullets right at them. And it's really accurate too. So love the machine pistol. Probably my favorite weapon in the game is the next one is the nail gun. Love the nail gun. Use both electricity and acid version of the nail gun. I actually didn't use a fire version of it, um, but used it all the time. And it slaps even against the larger, um, the apex predators. Uh, did a really good job. I and nails were reasonably cheap to buy, and um, it's one of the earlier blueprints you get as well um, to make them. So I was making them all the time. Really love the nail gun. 
So next one is the regular sledgehammer. So the composite sledgehammer is great. The regular sledgehammer was amazing. It was insane. I loved it really all the sledgehammers. And then when you get into some of the legendary, the sledgehammer in the legendary series and the unique one, amazing, which we'll do in its own video. And then the last one in the insane category for me is the stomp, <laughs> the curb stomp, the stomp, the stomp, like, one of the things I love about um, Dead Space is the stomp and the sound. To me, this was just as good. The stomp in this game was so satisfying, such a great finishing move. And just really, especially if you're in like a really hefty battle and you finally got them knocked down and you got that, you got that highlighted for me on the Xbox, the X button. You just got over, went over and just crushed their heads in. Oh, it was so satisfying. So that is my list of insane, great, good, okay, bad trash of all the weapons that are not legendary and not unique in Dead Island 2. We're starting the video off in the trash category. Looking at my Excel sheet, I don't have any in the trash category. These are legendary and unique weapons. There should be none in the trash category. Next. Moving on to the bad category. The first one is the Benoit War Club. I'm not a fan of the clubs. I don't know why. They just feel like they don't do anything. I said in that video, it's like I'm hitting people with a popsicle stick. That's what it feels like to me. I don't like the clubs. I don't like them in legendary status or the unique status either. So it's in the bad category. Next, Red Dragon. Was excited about this shotgun? Not great. <laughs> it's, I don't know if I got it late. I even upgraded it fully. It just wasn't doing it for me. Like. It didn't slap like I thought it should. Some of the shot offs, I felt like they hit a lot harder. Was not a fan of the Red, Red, Red Dragon. Didn't really like the look of it from a unique or legendary perspective. It wasn't that crazy. I wanted things to get crazy. Some of these other weapons look insane, which I love. Wasn't a fan of the Red Dragon. So that's also in the bad category for me. The next one and the last one in the bad category is the Tenderizer. <laughs> I mean, you're just kind of whipping around like a meat mallet that probably crushes crabs so you can eat them, which actually it looks cool. It's like a robot blue color. I really enjoyed that. I like that it has the emblem of the restaurant. That was kind of neat. This was, you know, in the bad category, just barely, because I did like the look of it, but overall mm, didn't do that great out in the world. That is the three in the bad category. Next, we're moving on to the okay category. First one in this is the Benoit baseball bat. Once again, it's okay. Metal bats, they're decent. They were in a decent arena in my regular, in the other video about the, the, the common weapons. I don't know. It's better than the club, but it's not that good. It's okay. Next is the black magic. Same thing. It's just a baseball bat. It makes sense that they're obviously in an apocalypse, but kind of looking for the crazy stuff, which is why it's just in the okay category for me. Next one in the okay category is the brutalizer. Looks crazy. I feel like... It does okay. It just, you know, it's a lot of shredding and, but zombies kind of are already shredded. I like the explosive stuff. I like them on fire. I like the effects. Um, and I don't know, brutalizers, it's okay. Next is the shark tooth. Great name, looks cool. Just, I wasn't vibing with it. I didn't really like it. Um, I used it in okay amount. You know, that's why it's in the okay category. I just wasn't feeling it. I don't know why, because it kind of ticked a lot of the boxes for me. Um, but I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get into this one. Next in the one in the okay is the one. <laughs> this one, which I talked about as being, what is it called? The Claymore. It's the, the legendary version of the Claymore, a unique version of the Claymore. Um, being the one, I guess if you want to run, run around and be Braveheart, it's kind of cool. It obviously is a huge swing major strikes does major damage but it is super slow because it's obviously really heavy super durable but it's not really for me like if i want to do damage like that i'm going to go with sledgehammers i chose ryan as a character for a reason i wanted the big heavy melee weapons which i loved and enjoyed but this one didn't really do it for me so it's in the okay category last one in the okay category is zombie gone really wanted to love this one the name's great it looks cool once again, lots of shredding. Mm. Didn't really, I just didn't feel like I was doing a whole lot of damage with it, which is why um, it's in the okay category for me. Next up is the goods. First one, Blood Rage. Crazy damage. Really good. 
I'm not super into the up close and personal. I like having a little bit of reach, a little bit of range. Um, so you had to get real tight with the Blood Rage. Cool name, looks insane. You can see why it's called the Blood Rage. Um, but it's pretty good. It's very powerful and did a lot of damage. So next is the Okami and Whiskey. Um, I enjoyed this weapon but I think there's better swordish type weapons in this group in the legendary uniques. So to me, it's good. It's a good job. I like the electricity, but yeah, it's okay. Uh, next in good is party starter. Wanted to love this. I love the, the knuckles. I loved the look of it. It's simplistic. I like how it has like the actual flame ports coming out the front. It looks insane, it looks meaty. There's nothing better than absolutely punching, throwing hands, beating the crap out of a zombie or a butcher, but it takes a lot to bring things down and you are super up close and personal. So the sounds are great. Just throwing hands is great, but I wouldn't say it's great. It fits in my good category. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is the Raven. Uh, I do like the scope. I do like the sporting rifle categories. I like being able to, you know, kind of scope in on heads. Um, it does okay damage, but there's better guns in this legendary unique category. So to me, it sits in the good category. Uh, next on good is Special Forces Knife. Kind of like the Blood Rage. A little too up close and personal. Does pretty good damage as well, though. Um, the upgrades look crazy because it's like a second dagger coming off these things um but yeah it's good and then the last one in the good is the wild style to me wild style probably is one of the best looking uh unique legendary weapons those flames coming off that blade looks crazy i think it looks amazing i love the color red so i'm a huge fan of this one but it sits in the good category for me next up is the great category first one big shot love it <laughs> thought it was really good uh it obviously does big damage it's kind of like a flare gun um but it does more damage than a flare gun has big explosion but it kind of blows up like flares um i think it's must be using like four ton 410 shells it's almost like a taurus uh the taurus judge if you know actual real weapons um but yeah big shot it was pretty great and i enjoyed it a lot it did decent damage it was really fun to shoot because it was so like sparkly <laughs> Uh, next in the great is the extinct extinction event, which I got pretty late in the game. Uh, once I figured out where it was, um, I do like revolvers. I thought this one looked really cool with the acid uh, effect as well, and it was really high damage. And it was great for medium uh, medium range as well. It was pretty accurate. Um, had a good time with this one, so I thought it was great. Next in the great is the Jade Dragon. I think the Jade Dragon is one of the best swords in this in this group. Um, I actually, once again, have it ahead of the Okami and Whiskey. And I think this is the highest. Yeah. So this is one of the highest. It's in the highest category for swords for me. I'm not a huge fan of the swords in this game. I actually like the other stuff more than melee blunt type things. Um, but the Jade Dragon didn't work for me. I had a great time with it and uh, it took care of everything. Well, last one in the great, the great is the... Krakatoa, I think is the way it's pronounced. This thing looks insane and it's super high damage. Uh, the finishing moves great, fire effects obviously, and it looks mean. <laughs> it looks like the perfect apocalypse weapon and it was great. That is my great category. The final group is insane. I have one, two, three, four. Four inside of the insane two of them being sledgehammers. <laughs> so I chose Ryan's character and I wanted to use sledgehammers. And it's probably why I chose two in the insane category. Remember, I'm right, 1000% right, so you can't argue, but I uh, love two of the sledgehammers in here. So first one, body count. Got this also late in the game. This one is really good. It hits hard, it slaps, it does a ton of work. It's very high rate of fire. And uh, yeah, it's insane. Next one on the list, Emma's Wrath. When I got this, I was so excited seeing Sam B carry this around. I was like, I wonder if I'm gonna, is this something I wanna? <laughs> so finally got to hold it, got to absolutely smash faces with it and it was a really good time. Um, so Emma's Wrath, unbelievable. The kind of explosive effect as well from it and it pushes, pushes the zombies back. Big fan of Emma's Wrath. Next is gastric bypass. When I saw that this was an actual weapon, I didn't I thought there was a typo. And then the way you get it, <laughs> the story behind the way you get gastric bypass is even better. 
Um, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but that whole mission on getting that exact weapon is great. And the person you get it from is great. Uh, so the story behind it just made me fall in love with it. And the immense damage, the acid ability, the name, the colors, the stickers, everything about this is insanely great and fun and is really fun to use. So is my second sledgehammer in the insane category. And the last one in the insane and what everyone should be using from a gun perspective is Peggy. Peggy, you get very early on, so you want to make sure you keep it and you keep upgrading it through and using it because as you upgrade it, it is just a one hit wonder. It can drop the big blobby guys, the screamers in one or two or three shots. Uh, it can take out some of the larger apex predators very easily. You can keep distance. You can add like a nice stabbing defense ability on the front of it as well on the barrel. And it's called Peggy, which is great. And the person you get it from is great. And yeah, I had a lot of fun with Peggy, got a lot of kills and you don't have to scope in. So I always aim down sights and then I saw some other clubs of people not doing it. You can just like shoot from the hip and it's still, <laughs> it's still crazy accurate. So make sure you take that in consideration when you're using Peggy. That is my list of trash, which was zero, bad, okay, good, great, and insane for legendary unique weapons in Dead Island 2. If you like content like this, make sure you check out this video because it's very similar and you may enjoy that one as well. And we will catch you on the next video. Thanks.